Hello everybody, happy Easter. This is Frida and I'm using these times a lot to craft and to slow down. So today I want to tell you a story with my crafted cards about a very slow animal and a very different passing of time. And the story is called The Legend of Urashima Taro. It's from Japan and begins with a fisherman in Japan who saw some children playing with a turtle at the beach like also in really cruel ways like swinging the turtle on a string around in a circle and he said well this poor animal guys stop playing with it in this way i'm giving you a gold coin if you spare this turtle's life and as we all know money talks and to taro's surprise the turtle started to talk and it said man you have a good heart i want to reward you i'm taking you to my world if you want to and in the beginning taro didn't want to because he had to work and he had children to feed and everything so the turtle said, well, no, come on, you must have a little time for me. You were so good to me. So the turtle took Taro down to the undersea world, to the palace of the sea queen, where there was a big party with unusual food and with all the inhabitants of the sea singing and dancing and this was so beautiful that he stayed with the sea queen and all the inhabitants of the sea for three days. But after a while, Taro said, uh, please, I need to go back to my family because, uh, well, I have work to do and I have friends and I have children. I wonder how he could keep on doing fishing uh, when he had now known that the animals were kind of talking like him. But yeah, he had a good conscience. He wanted to work and he wanted to see his family. And he said he was missing his children and hugging them. And so the sea queen said, don't go. I know you miss your family, but this will make you unhappy. Why should this make me unhappy? Taro said. My family is like the most important thing in my life. Yeah, okay, then go, the sea queen said, but take this treasure chest of mine. Never forget me, but don't open this treasure chest. So the turtle brought Taro back to the land and suddenly the landscape was totally different from what he had gone away from. And he thought if the turtle had maybe made a mistake and just put him to the wrong place, so he went into the next village, which didn't seem familiar either. And he said, hello, I'm Urashima Taro. And then the people said, this is not possible. And Taro went like, why? Well, because Urashima Taro is a fairy tale creature, like the oldest people in our village uh, told us that he disappeared some 300 years ago from his work and from his family and was never seen again. And of course, uh, Taro was shocked about that um, because, well, this can't be. I'm Urashima Taro. And he like showed some things that would identify him, but nobody knew him by that so what happened was that he was all alone and he sat down and realized that one day at the bottom of the sea 
was as much as a hundred years in the human world. And since he didn't have anything to lose anymore, he opened the chest against the advice of the Sea Queen. And he heard the voice of the Sea Queen, Taro, you shouldn't have done this, for in this chest there was your life. And so he turned to dust and went up to the sky. I know this story sounds sad, but I actually like it a lot because of the talking to animals and of uh, the idea that time passes differently in different dimensions, which is also known from astronomy. And I hope you enjoyed this story in some way. And I hope you like these cards and uh, tell me which story you want to hear next and see. Bye.